And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Daniel Golden Boy, Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles, just absurd. And a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Nice job of hiding that head kick. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Dig and kick. Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Look at that switch speed. Beautiful switch speed. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Head kick partially blocked. He's got a good leg kick, there it is. Oh, huge right hand! Another one! Oh! Lock him, suck him out of the suit here! Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. He's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Cutting them down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with it with absolute power. And now it does not matter how many times you jam on that extra knee, it will not do any damage. It won't take many of those. Oh, crippling uppercut. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Going for a submission now, or so it appears. He's looking to finish, John. Oh, Darsh choke lock and load. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. 90 seconds to go on the round. Nice jab there by Lee. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Oh, blood is dripping from his leg. Oh! Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Looking for the submission once again. He's fighting. He wants this very bad. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Oh, that is going to do it. That's got to be it. Oh, submission defense. He gets out. this in that moment. It looked like the fight was over. He was able to clear his head. Put the guy into the mark. Not a great position, but much better than getting his arms snapped half. Wow, somehow 
some ways he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John. He was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Final seconds here. Oh, he locks up the triangle now, DC. This could very well be the beginning of the end. Oh, it looks like the end of the fight. It looks like this one is about to this guy. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So the fighter now with a cut on his lip. That is something he's going to have to deal with. You see the cut man not wasting any time getting in there. We'll see if he can shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for him moving forward. All right, so Jarzinho Rosenstrike versus Alistair Overeem. It is not. Oh, no. But let us look back at some of the replays from that round because there's a cut on the lip now that he's got to deal with. Long as I never got to see nothing like that again in my entire life, <laughs> I'm okay calling fights. And this cut is not that. But... It was the perfect shot that landed in the right spot that opened Ready up that fight. cut on the lip. Ready. All right, so we will see if the cut man can do anything about that and for the fighter try to raise his guard and be more sound defensively in this next round. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, I see the collar tie now. Oh! Oh! You heard a bad. Oh, you got a bad. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Looks like he's trying for submission now. The hook looks tight. That looks tight. How about that? He avoids submission and gets right back to his feet. Starting to do some... Oh! Beautiful diving strike land. My goodness, that dart choke is very tight. Oh, it looks tight to me. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. Call his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position, he found the submission, and he squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Daniel Golden Boy, All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets